Fragile. So this is a Blitzway uh, figure. I only have one other Blitzway in my whole collection, and uh, what I can tell from Blitzway is it's it's kind of like Hot Toys, but they're more of an upscale statue kind of company. Uh, this is from the Hunters series, uh, Dr. BB. I can't really tell you much about this character because everything is in either Chinese or in Korean. So what I can gather from this figure is it's from a post-apocalyptic universe. So let's take a look at the box she comes in. And here's the box. Uh, it's pretty big. It's a big box. It's big for a reason because this uh, this particular figure comes with uh, a lot of accessories. Let me see if I can fix the lighting a bit. Yeah. So that's the that's the box. I have to figure out a place of where to put this thing because it's it's not it it it's a it's a big one. So. Whoa. So let's open her up and see what's inside. Beep. Boop. Um. Oof. Well, this is what this girl comes with. This is her accessories. So it's quite a bit. Let's try and organize this. Ooh. And here are the accessories this figure comes with. Uh, it's quite a bit, so let's take a look at Z helmet first. So again, from what I understand from this concept is that this particular person is some sort of tinkerer or fixer. So you can see some of the stuff she has is built from scraps and all that very Fallout-esque looking aesthetic. Like even the wires has print on them. Yeah, the level of detail is, is really... Well, I think it does hot toys in some ways. So this, this basically looks like a mouth. You can see has eyes here and the little antenna that kind of you know scares me snapping but if you know how to handle figures you shouldn't have nothing to worry about oh got it okay it's it's fixable it's fixable it's just uh, if you see it just clips on like that so yeah please don't do what i just did and be a moron about it yeah that's the helmet so let's go on to the ex maybe this welding gun thing. So as you can see, very nice, very shiny. Yeah, looks like a bolt gun that's been melded together with a gas canister. Cause it doesn't look like a welding tool. So that's her welding bolt tool thing. Okay. Here's her big ass knife. Let's see. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. This is actually, I think it's, yeah, I think this is rubber. The handle's like rubber, rubber band. I've heard that these things get sticky after a while, so be careful and make sure you store this particular figure in a nice acclimated room. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a big choppy blocking looking knife. And she has a, a mallet. Is this a mallet or a hammer? Let's do that. I think it's a mallet. 
There you go. Moving on, we have this box thing, which I will show you how to attach this. This goes on her little respirator thing, and it houses this little little bomb guy. Looks like that Mario thing. Let's see if I get a closer look. Yeah, there we go. So this basically sits like this on her person. I'll show you that in a little bit. And then we have our little welding glasses, our welding goggles. It's got a little nice glass dome. It has this elastic thing, which I do not want to mess with too much, because although although it's over time, this will get degraded if you overexert it too much this will fall apart so I'm just gonna display it as is like this maybe cuz I've seen these when you stretch them let's see come on useless camera thing yeah so when you try to stretch it it gets all I it'll disintegrate if you keep it in a high tensioned pose so I would advise against that. And along with that, she has a little respirator thing. Again, with the scary... <laughs> stretchy bit, which I do not want to mess with too much. Yeah. Doop. Doop. And she has this little World War II looking canister. Water canister. Still don't know how to put this on her because she's loaded with so much stuff. So that's something we need to figure it out later. Yeah, it's comes with a strap. Nice strap. And she has all these little pocket bag things, which kind of attach really weirdly onto her respirator. I'll show you guys that in a bit. So you got a little pocket thing. Then she has this big, uh, 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 big fuck you, um, wrench axe thing. <laughs> so yeah, so apparently it, it's wired up. Oh dear god. To these battery things, these battery canisters, and the wire feeds in. Feeds into this. I guess it supercharges or superheats this little mallet thing. Don't know how you use such a tool esque weapon thing, but you can't deny it doesn't look cool. And it has a little keychain. There's a little, little bear. I don't know if you get that. There we go. So, yeah. This is a big fuck you wrench axe weapon thing to use to fix or to destroy. Okay. And then we have her little ooh, little ponytails. So this is a long version. Hmm. It's really hard to focus now, huh? There we go. So you want to point these bolts in the forward position. I'll show you guys that later. And then we have her little little ponytails. So I don't, I don't know, maybe she had a haircut. So you got one long one, one short one. There you go. So that's it. That's her accessories. On her person, that is. She also comes with a little buddy. Uh, this guy. So, apparently this is some sort of a militarized... I don't know if it's militarized, but that's what it says on the thing, if you could read that. It's a military mini trooper. So I think that she... I don't know, maybe 
constructed a different type to make her own because I'm pretty sure this won't be standard issue to have this kind of head. It says BB on it. This is the BB unit. This is the BB. But from what I understand from the little stories in her bio is because she built this thing, people automatically assumed that her name was BB. Now I could be wrong, but that's what I understand from what they gave in the description. But this is something she created out of scraps. And I guess this is her little little buddy thing that helps her fix stuff and be a companion. I again I there's not a lot of information about this particular piece. But you know what? I kinda like to add the mystery. Helps you build up the story yourself. Makes you fill in the gla the glaps the gaps better. So having this little holes in the story, you know, adds to the mystique of this figure. So so his his basically his arms and legs all wired, but you know, please do not mess with it too much. These do not articulate. There are warnings on their Facebook and their manual that says these do not articulate, so please do not attempt it. For some reason, these do. These articulate, let's see, focus. But they don't articulate a whole lot. I don't wanna go beyond that, but I think they articulate, they move. But let's not mess with that too much. And then they, this guy swivels. Not so much up and down like that. His range of motion is really limited. But you know, let's not mess with that too much because this is a very fragile figure. You know, not a well known brand, but they have some QC issues in the past, so. There we go. That's a little companion thing, a little BB. So let's take a look at the figure herself. And here he is, this is BB herself in her little jumpsuit. Uh, if you haven't noticed, yes, this jumpsuit is made of that fantastic material we all love, the pleather. Uh, I'm not going to display her with this because, again, with the material, and I don't really like... I mean, the jumpsuit looks nice and all, with all the stuff that uh, you put on her. But it kind of, for me, it kind of overloads the figure a bit. So I want to take it off. And it doesn't make her look too bulky. And again, this material, oh man. So this is the, this is how she looks. Uh, if you see here, if you look at the product picture, they look nothing alike. Unfortunately, this is missing that that skin texture kind of thing. So, you know, it's kind of unfortunate. But, you know, for what it is, it, it does it well. You know, for, for like a, a concept figure that's not very well known in the collecting community. Collecting community. Look at me talking all big. Essentially what I'm saying is this 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 wave, this line, isn't very well known. At least from what I see in on YouTube, because there's not a lot of people who review this. And the people who do review it are either Koreans, Chinese, or they don't have a lot of info on it, which I don't blame them because there isn't <laughs> there isn't a whole lot of information on her, unfortunately. Which is kind of sad, but kind of interesting at the same time. So if you see, she has this a little drawn out. I mean, the jumpsuit is decorated with stuff. Ooh, focus, focus, focus. Yeah, is that focused? I mean, it looks like a proper space suit. I mean, I. I guess that's what I interpret from what I'm looking at. 
Those are big ass welding gloves, workman gloves. Not a whole lot of weathering on them for what they are, but they do the trick. Still on. What does it say? Oh, protective gloves. Hmm. That you got those big old boots. This is a separate piece. When you get them in, the, in her in the box, this is this comes separate. So to avoid the maybe the scratching for this pleather, so they took it off. Yeah, articulates. Uh, articulation wise, it's, it's your generic. Nothing to talk about it. It rotates, it swivels, it poses, it's nice, but I don't like to go to articulation because it's so, so mundane. I don't really care about articulation because I, again, I just stick these guys in a museum pose and I'm done. So, as you can see, uh, this is made from pleather. From that fantastic material that that will start to degrade and start to peel after maybe a year. I mean, uh, <laughs> if you ask me how to fix it, I can't tell you, friend, because I also don't know. That's why I'm going to opt to remove this jumpsuit from her. And she does have clothing under this. It's like a it's like an overall thing, which I'll show you. Right now. And here she is out of her little uh, astronaut jumpsuit thing. Um, before you guys go insane, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't design this figure. And I didn't decide for her to not have a shirt on. So this is basically how she looks. You check the promo picture, this is how she is. So unfortunately, these are the only... Um, hands you get these gloves those are the only things you get from this figure and her body is that um what do you call it? that that, that fison body it's it's squishy it has a really squishy flesh thing she also has a little uh, little um tattoo 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 oh god yeah let's really close up so, here we go. Uh, I don't know what that is, but you know, it looks cool. And she also has one more on her, on her thigh, but I have to strip her naked to, to see. And you know, I don't, don't want to be weird, so let's just say it looks. Is it the same? No, because this is more of a serpent looking thing. This is more flowery. Well, yeah, she has two tattoos. Um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to cover her up as best I can, but that don't know. That's how it is. That's how it is, folks. I, <laughs> I didn't make the figure, so don't don't at me. Uh, that's her little very wasteland-looking belt solutions there. Yeah, as you can see, there are some QC issues, unfortunately, with this this uh this line because yeah mine's missing the little hook the little ah shit yeah it's missing the the string i might have to fix that myself later oh yeah you give and you take with this line i mean what you what you get is cool but you tend to you tend to how do you say lose some stuff some things are broken, some things are scratched, some things are smudged. You, this, this is the risk you have to take when you're when you're buying these concept artist figures because you know it can't be all perfect because it's not really mass produced in a way that Hot Toys do it. This is like a kind of a one-off thing, you know. So in a way, you get a unique piece, but at the same time, the quality isn't quite there because it isn't as mass produced does that make sense 
Am I making sense? Because, you know, this is like a one-off thing. This, this line also has two more figures. Uh, there's one called the Burbacut, an android, which I have. That's over there. And the first one they made is called the Zaboy. That's like a weird um, kind of a sniper. Well, here's the picture. So he's kind of a wasteland sniper, forager, stalker kind of guy, which is, you know, unfortunately he's sold out and any attempts to get him is fruitless because these guys go for a lot after they sold out. I mean, because they're so limited, guess what? Once they're sold out, you're up in your ass with secondhand market prices. So if you have a chance to pre-order them or get them for a fair deal, just get them. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's her. So again, backstory from what I understand. She is some sort of a post-apocalyptic fixer, inventor, and kind of a helper for the common folk. I'm guessing she has some attitude because of her, you know, her stylistic choices. But she has some a heart of gold. This is what I assume from what I've read. But yeah, because you don't, you know. I hate to stress this enough, but you know, you need to support some companies who do these type of figures because there's not a lot, a whole lot of them out there. And you know, after, instead of getting Captain America's, Captain America's, after Iron Man, after Iron Man, after Spider Man, I mean, you need some change in your collection. And you know, Blitzway was able to deliver with this line. Very nice. So let's see her fully loaded. Shit, I have to put her back in her little jumpsuit thing. Okay. I got her in her jumpsuit. Man, that was that was a huge pain in the ass, but and a bit scary. But I was able to do it. Unfortunately I have to take it back off later, but you know. The the trials of being a reviewer, I guess. So let's do this one by one, shall we? So first we're gonna stick on her little respirator, and I just realized I didn't really show you the close-up for this. So this is a respirator thing. So you... So, yeah, details all there. This will sit on her shoulders, obviously. So yeah, there it is. And another note. I almost broke this thing last night when I was just taking it out of the box because I thought you could basically do do no 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 that's not how you do it as you can see in the inside there are these little um, cutout bits that you have to align with these cutout bits so let's see if I do it again without I guess this way is better is it better sure why not I tend to talk to myself, but there, and you turn it, and then there, it's secure. It won't fall out. Pro tip. So let's take it off. You twist, and yeah, you twist and turn. That's how you get it on. That's how you get it off. So let's try and do this in camera. And let's try and get some more light here. Is that better? Mm, sure. I'm just sitting in my room talking to myself. Okay, then you put this guy here and then you snug it in. There we go. That's a little respirator thing. Now her little fiddly bits. Uh, I'm lamenting doing this on camera because it's really hard looking at the, the camera and trying to navigate your hands in it so these things if you can see there are little clippy clips these clippy clips will clippy over here in this little i don't know what you call it a little armor piece so you just clip it yeah and then there you go it's 
it's not secure, but it will stay. So don't, I advise you not to fudge around with it too much. And then you have uh, these bags. So we have, so yeah, yeah, it has these little clippy clips as well. So again, you attach them through these, uh, her arm piece, you see that? These things, these, this to this lip. So yeah, I'm gonna try and attempt this. So again, it's not secure. You won't hear a clip sound, but as long as it's wedged in there good, it won't move. There we go. So there. Uh, did I get it right? No, this one's not right. Oh, I know it was right. What the hell are you doing? It's very finicky, these, these parts. So I advise you to take an afternoon and slowly do things. There we go. That's what I got on camera. <laughs> if not, I have to take this whole thing out and just go straight to the pose. And then, again, same thing with this black pouch. It has a little clippy clip there, you see? This one will go here, this little lip here. Okay, calm down everybody. We can do this. It is a, right there, okay, there. So it's stuck, it's stuck on good. So let's put her head on so her little respirator thing doesn't decide to fall off and break. So. There you go. Okay. Ooh, boom, no. Let's try rotating that back a bit so it doesn't get in the way. There. So there she is. With her little respirator thing. All ready to go. Now, we got this little bomb guy. This little Mario bomb thing. Oh dear God! There we go. This thing, from what I see on the proto eh, promo picture, you just stick it there, and yeah, it's a little friend. Sorry about the noise, but I live next to a very busy road, and you know, which is dumb. You know, they rev their engines up. Because the road in front of my apartment block, is, it's a straight line, but there's a traffic light <laughs> in the middle of it. So they'll, they'll just rev it up, they'll speed, and then they just have to force themselves to stop when it turns red. So it's kind of pointless. There, I go on a rant again. Whatever. Okay, there we go. The little respirator thing is ready. Okay, now she has other flippity bits. She has her bigger, her little cleaver, her little butcher knife thing. Now, from the promo pictures, they want you to stick them in between this, um, late, not latex, these, these stretchy bits, but I would advise you seriously against that because, again, these things will deteriorate if it's in a very... Well, if you stretch it for a long period of time, this will lose its stretch and it will start disintegrating, basically. So I would advise against that. So, I, so for me, I'll just stick it in her boot. Her little booty boots. Yeah, there, done. So, you know, no need to finesse that too much. And then a little mallet thing. A little, little hammer. These will go in her little pockets. Doop, doop. There you go. We she had more tools though to fill these two, but there's nothing else you can put in there except for the mallet. And then, oh, so she has extra pocket piece. Uh, this one, this little tiny guy. From what I see on the promo pics, again, they want you to attach this thing down here 
which I will strongly advise against because that thing will deteriorate over time. So I need to figure out where to put this on her person. So mm, that could come in later. Let's speed this up a bit. And yeah, the rest of the things are just her, the thing she holds in her hand, which I will have to put off camera because you know, balancing and stuff. So that's how she looks like without the helmet. And here she is, Miss BB, all loaded up. This is how she looks like with all the accessories plastered on her. Let's try and rotate this thing very slowly. Oh, there you go. Um, for balancing issues, I don't have an issue. I don't have much of an issue with this because of her, her big ass feet. She bounces quite well, very well actually. But you know, always be careful. So she looks like a little cosmonaut thing with a little, little buddy over there. Yeah, it's not what you say, because the figure speaks for itself. Look at that. Always support these little one-offs because, you know, you don't get a lot of them coming out now and then. You have to really look for them. So let's take a closer look at Miss BB. And there she is. All kitted out. I'll try to stay away from the light. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. BB. So yeah, glad I got this. No regrets at all. None. I I knew the the suit, the pleather was was something I was not looking forward to. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to remove it and keep it and store it in a in an acclimated area. Yeah, look at that. Very nice, very nice. I mean, try, I mean, maybe, you know, I'll try once in a while to see these artist type figures that come out just trying maybe get one maybe you will you'll appreciate other other companies who do one six scale yeah there she is in all her glory so this is her decked out one, but I'm going to switch out her outfit to show you what I'm going to display her as. And this is the basically the, the form or the display option I will have her in the shelf next to her her friends. Because I believe the jumpsuit really um, takes away a lot from the figure, so that's why I, I took it out. So this is how she will be. A very stoic pose. So, yep. Yeah. Good purchase, good purchase. Waited for, I think, seven months for this to come out. It was supposed to come out earlier, but you know how things are nowadays with the with the virus. But she finally came. Now my little my other uh, Blitzway figure has a friend. Yeah. Let's see her in a display. 
So here she is in the little display light up box I have on my desk. Uh, I put her next to the Android Burbacot. Again, there's not much lore for this one as well. At least from what I can piece together is she's some sort of android that woke up in this new apocalyptic world. So she's been offline for a while and now she has to like, I don't know, fend for herself or something. I guess we have to fill in the gaps as I guess the series goes on. So yeah, uh, she comes with display, but you know, I don't know review displays, display stands, because you know, it's a display stand, it's, it's, it's nice, great. Well, there she is. I put her spacesuit behind her because I felt kind of bad putting it in a box somewhere and forgetting about it, but now looking at it, it looks a little cramped in there, so I might have to remove it and put it in a dry box. So I was able to uh, load her up with all her accessories without her looking too messy. So it's all, they're all, all kitted up in their stoic stance. You see our little buddy over there, just chilling out. There we go. So yeah, that's it. That's my review over this Dr. BB from Blitzway. If you have a chance to get her then get her because you will not regret it it's a nice change of pace if you're a hot toy collector and you're going into other genres other companies because you know why not expand your collection a bit try to diversify okay go get her <laughs>